he's a doctor. I'm not a doctor. People say you're a doc. I'm actually a circle. But who do you believe? The doctor or the circle? <laughs> Coach Greg, and today I'm going to be reviewing a video done by Dr. Ken D. Barry. MD, he's a doctor. Like Nick Chakraborty sent me this message and said, hey, you should review this. So I'm going to watch the video for the first time and I can only imagine how moronic it's going to get, even though he's a doctor, based on the title of the video alone. Get this for a title. Why calories don't count. Three concepts you need. So he's clearly broken the laws of thermodynamics. The calories, they don't count. Doesn't matter how many calories you eat. Nope, it doesn't matter. You know how many stupid people keep saying this? They're not morons, they're idiots. Need to lower the intelligence quotient to the idiot level. And this is a freaking medical doctor. So obviously he's correct and I'm wrong. I'm only right 99.6% of the time. So most likely everything I say in this video is incorrect. He's a doctor. I'm a circle. Why would you take my word over his? For the next few minutes, let's talk about something that's very important to you, especially if you're trying to lose fat. And that's why calories don't count. He literally says why calories don't count if you're trying to lose fat. It's especially important to you. Calories, they don't count. No, you don't have to be in the deficit. No, it doesn't matter if you're a freaking surplus now, does it? Nope, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. I already have another video on this channel about why counting calories is stupid. Yeah, it makes no sense. Doesn't work. Why would you count calories? What else is he going to say? Why doing cardio is stupid? It doesn't help you burn fat. Why you don't need to eat protein to build muscle? What other nonsense is he going to come up with? Hopefully he hasn't done that. I haven't researched any of his videos because based on this, it's not somebody I'd want to watch. And to do that, there are specific things you should eat. There are specific things you should avoid. And there are specific things you should do. Okay, so he's going to make it specific to people trying to lose fat. Because let's be honest, people don't want to really lose weight. They want to lose fat. They don't want to lose muscle and bone. No, pretty much everybody who hires Coach Craig wants to lose fat and increase muscle. That's what my videos, in fact, do. We're going to see if this video does the same as what my videos do. If you know anyone who is trying to lose fat desperately but just cannot, please consider sharing this video with them. You can share it on Facebook, YouTube. Tell them to freaking put the freaking fork down. Put it down. Like Arnold would say. Put that cookie down now. Put the cookie down. That's what you need to do to lose weight. If they can't lose weight, instead of telling them to watch this guy's channel, tell them to watch my channel. Mine. Do you think this guy knows more than me just because he's a doctor and he has over a million subs? This video is from a year ago. One year, it's got 93,000 views. Why has only 93,000 morons, I mean idiots, watch this video? Why do people get so few views if they have so many friggin' followers and subs? Probably because they know that they're not giving quality information, unlike my channel. There are three things I'm going to talk about, three key concepts as to why counting calories is stupid. It's dumb. Stupid or dumb? Isn't that a friggin' 6 9 song? Are you stupid or dumb? I think I remember that from that song. Are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? Now, I'm looking at this shirt. He's got the collar shirt with the button down. And I'm not seeing a, let's call it, a rip dude. I'm not seeing a shredded guy. I see a man right here, he's not morbidly obese, but I don't see a physical specimen of a man who has been following a diet that's clearly working. Maybe he should get my cookbook. Maybe he should start counting calories. It's worthless, it's a waste of time. It's actually worse than worthless. Counting calories is not only bad, it's worse than worthless. Not only is it worthless, it's sub-worthless. Is you're so busy, you're so dedicated, you're expending all your energy mentally trying to count these damn calories. So I don't know. I guess it's because his subs are all idiots. They're spending every ounce of mental energy calculating calories. Their brains are full and tired from counting calories. It's such difficult work. It's so impossible to do that you can't possibly do anything else. You're likely going to have to quit your job because your brain doesn't work. It's so difficult to count a calorie. It's so freaking hard. It's detrimental to your health to think that much. 
He's seeing it. Are you seeing the same video that I am? And it fails every time, and it's been failing since we started. It fails every time. It's been failing since the beginning of time. Anybody who's ever tried to count calories has failed losing weight. Do you think that's truthful and honest information? Is he reporting actual scientific facts? Every single person who's ever counted calories has failed at losing weight. We're talking about counting calories back in the 50s and 60s. So since the 1950s, sorry, not since the beginning of time, has man not been successful, and when I say man, I see man, woman, or circle, have been successful at losing weight in counting calories. Because it clearly doesn't work. It's impossible to lose weight by counting calories. Because the doc says so. I'm just a circle. What do I know? So you hear that like a gram of carbohydrate is four calories, and a gram of protein is four calories, and a gram of fat is nine calories. Well, actually, those numbers are, are estimated and rounded. If I buy two things, one's 99 cents and one's 98 cents, and I say it costs two bucks, it's way off. It's so far off. It's $1.97, Coach Ray. Can't you do the math? You can't round off and add calories. It's fine, Doc. That's not a reason why calorie counting doesn't work. So if you're trying to actually count up and get a, a, an actual calorie number, you are off every single time you try to do that. Yeah, you're off every time you try to do that. So you're off by 50 calories. Guess what? If you didn't lose weight, you need to eat less. It doesn't matter if you rounded it off to 2,000, to 2,100, to 2,200. Whatever that number is, count it less next time. Calorie counting will work for sure. Because if you're not losing weight, you eat less calories and you keep dropping it until you do lose weight. That's the scientific fact, not debatable. You will lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit. There's supposed to be four calories per gram in a carbohydrate, but it totally depends on the kind of carbohydrate it is. If it's a sugar, it'll have anywhere from four to 4.2 grams. Well, if it's a sugar, it'll have anywhere from four to 4.2 calories per gram. So that's way off. Imagine how off it is. It might be 4.2. You see how stupid this is? Do you see how much nonsense this is? This is a doctor arguing with a circle. Not technically arguing, he's already done the video. This is a circle reviewing a doctor's information. What about soluble fiber? That shouldn't have any calories, right? Well, actually, that's not right. It's got somewhere between two and two and a half calories per gram of soluble fiber. Yes, fiber has calories. We know that not all foods have the exact same number of calories. We know that some fibers have less calories than others. That's why we try to include them in our diets. It doesn't matter if you're off. If you're tracking your calories, even if it's off, if you're not losing weight, you just need to eat less. If you're always off by 10%, say, does it really matter? Does it really matter? It's like body fat. Let's say you're 20%, but really you're 15 so what? Who cares the number really? It really doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter at all. What matters is that you're happy. And if you're not losing weight, you need to cut the calories. You need to not listen to this guy telling you not to count calories. You need to be in a deficit to lose weight. Now, proteins are, uh, yield about 4.25 calories per gram, not four. And so again, you're off by, by five to 6% before you ever get started. Oh, heaven forbid, that's so far off. We'll never be able to lose weight because heavens forbid, we might be off by 5%. You really think 5% is making or breaking the difference between people who are overweight and not? Uh, fats, now this is very interesting. We're, we're told that fats contain nine calories per gram, right? Well, that's actually not true at all either. If it's a polyunsaturated oil, then it, can it contains 9.1 to 9.2. Somebody look up pedantic in the dictionary. Is his face appear there? Is it him, the definition? I think it's him. If it is an animal fat, it can be anywhere from 6.5 calories per gram up to eight calories per gram. And so if you're counting nine calories per gram, you can see that if you're eating certain kinds of animal fat, you're greatly overestimating. The so instead of this whole video, instead of counting each macro, why did he just say count the total calories on the package and not all the grams? Why don't you just count total calories? Like when I add up the calories in something, I don't sit there and say this many grams of carbs, this many grams of fat, this many grams of protein. No, I say the total. That's the total. Look up friggin' bread. 
It's got 150 calories in two slices. I don't care about every single breakdown in it. I just eat it and I know I had 150 calories. If I eat 10 slices, it's 750 calories. I don't care about the freaking breakdown. And so you can see just immediately from the first concept, you can never know, knowingly uh, calculate an exact number of calories that was in your food that you just were about to eat. If I go for a walk and I hike in the woods, I don't know exactly how many calories I'm burning now, do I? I just went for a walk for an hour in the hike in the woods. I don't know how many calories I burned. Does that mean I shouldn't freaking walk? Does that mean I shouldn't do cardio because I don't know how many calories I'm burning? Okay, now listen carefully to this. This is very important. Once you understand this concept, you can't be fooled by the calories in, calories out superstition. You will no longer believe in the laws of thermodynamics. This doctor, he's going to win a Pulitzer for sure. Some kind of prize. Give him the plastic trophy. Can't wait to see what he's going to say. And so any carbs you eat, you are going to, that's going to count as calories. That's going to count as energy. So any carbs you eat is going to count as calories because you got to burn off those calories because it doesn't make structure. Okay. It, it doesn't. So those calories count. Carb calories count. That you either burn for energy or you store it as energy, which is what fat is. Okay. So you either burn off the carb for energy or you're going to store them as body fat eventually. So far, it's not disproving any laws of thermodynamics. When you eat a steak, do you, do you burn all that protein for energy? Do you metabolize all that? Absolutely not. So eating a steak, do you burn off all that protein or do you use some of it to build muscle? Yeah, you use some of it to build muscle now, don't you? So what's your point, doc? It uses uh, your protein to make enzymes. Every repair that's made to every tissue and cell in your body uses the amino acids, so therefore proteins. So yeah, we get it. Proteins used to build muscle, to build cells, and so on. What's your point? Come on, get on with it. What about your blood? What about your muscle? What about your bones? Yeah, we get it. We know you need to eat protein to build muscle. We know it. Who do you think on this planet thinks you don't need any protein to build muscle? Other than Dr. Sam Robbins, who made a video about that. And so if you say, okay, I had 100 grams of protein today, that's 400 calories. That's not even close to right. You probably used almost all 100 grams of that protein to build and repair with. Everyone eats protein. Everyone uses it. If you eat too much protein, let's exaggerate. If you eat 1,000 grams of protein a day and you only need 2,000 calories a day, there's going to be extra calories left over because the body can't use all that protein for building muscle and cells and so on. The extra calories are then going to be used to be stored as energy. You see that, Doc? Calories in, calories out. You use the fat to repair, to make and repair every cell membrane in your body. So just eat a bunch of protein and fat, and you won't gain weight because you don't know how much fat you're using to build and repair. He basically sounds like some keto idiot moron freaking person that's trying to promote that diet when there's no scientific evidence to say that you can just eat as much calories as you want if you're on keto. But people think it. I'm on keto. As long as I avoid carbs, I will lose weight. No, you're not breaking the laws of thermodynamics just because you're avoiding carbs. It doesn't work like that. Anyone that ever says you can break the laws of thermodynamics is automatically an idiot. You need a calorie deficit to lose weight. If they don't agree with that, they're an idiot trying to brainwash you and trick you. This is what this guy is doing. You use the fat to make prostaglandins, to make hormones, to make prostacyclins, to make leukotrienes. So he uses a bunch of big words that no one's ever heard before. And because he said a bunch of big words, you think, oh, he probably makes sense. Probably if you eat all that fat, it's just going to do all those big word type of things. And you're not going to use those calories. Just because he uses a bunch of big words doesn't mean he's breaking the laws of thermodynamics, which in itself is a freaking big word. So you can't count the total number of grams of fat and multiply by nine and say that's how many calories you got today. It just doesn't work that way. Yes, you can. You can, in fact, use the total amount of grams of fat you had, multiply by nine, nine, and that'll tell you how many calories from fat you had that day. Just because your body is going to burn off some of those calories during the metabolic processes doesn't mean the calories don't count. So you can never know. How, much of the, how many of the grams of protein and fat that you ate were actually burned as fuel? 
so or what? stored as, as fat. So you never what? know that number because you don't know how much you need it to repair and to rebuild. And of course, food companies want you to buy the product. So they want it to look as attractive as possible. So if they can round down, they will. Don't listen to this guy to just say, abandon all tracking. Don't ever think about it. Eat what you want. Calorie tracking doesn't work. That would be the same stupidity as saying, don't exercise anymore. You can't figure out how many calories you're burning on a hike. So don't hike. Why bother? It's useless. See how stupid this information is. It's not helpful to the general public to understand that, oh, you're going to make mistakes. So you shouldn't bother. If they can call a carbohydrate an insoluble fiber and you, and make you think it has zero calories. When it's a fact, zero calories. They'll do that, right? And so you just get, and so we'll take an ap apple, for example. Ooh, right? let's this take an apple. apples. How much does this apple weigh? I don't know. How ripe is this apple? What species is this apple? I don't know. How long has it been on the shelf? Oh. All those things matter when it comes to the percentage. Yeah, because what if it's 70 calories and it's only 64? What if it had 83 calories, that apple, and I tracked it at 70? I'll definitely not lose weight because why track apple calories? Because it's too much scientific information. Your head will explode if you think that hard. I mean, what species of pig? Does that matter? Yes, it matters. Does it matter if this pig was pastured or was fed lots of grains? Yes, that absolutely matters. This is not the bacon you're looking for. Yeah, your bacon size, the amount of calories in it, it's going to depend how long did you cook it, did you dry out the grease, and so on. But you just don't need to worry that much. Do the best you can. And if you're not losing weight, maybe hold off on the bacon. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? My bacon is not your bacon. You can- He cannot play with my baby Gert. No way is this man going anywhere near my animals. And so stop worrying about the calories. Stop trying, stop even trying. Stop worrying about the calories. Stop even trying. While we're at it, let's not exercise because you don't know how many calories you're burning when you go for a bike ride now, do you? You know how many calories when you go for a run? You don't know how many calories you're burning on the stepper. The friggin' machines at the gym aren't right. So don't even bother. Don't even track. Let's just freaking live. Let's not bother. I don't know how much sunscreen to put on to prevent the UV exposure from giving me skin cancer. Let's just not bother putting any on because we don't know how much to put. Or should we do the best we can do and rub it everywhere that we can reach and do our best job? They're not math problems. They're calculus problems. You'd need a supercomputer to calculate all these numbers. Or you just need Coach Greg. You can get your supercomputer or just ask Coach Greg, watch his videos, and you will be as smart as a supercomputer because he thinks you need a supercomputer to calculate calories. Or you just watch my videos and you will lose weight by doing what I say. It's not that hard. He's making it look like you need a supercomputer. And that's going to range somewhere between vegetable heavy ketogenic to carnivore. Somewhere in that spectrum is the proper human diet for you. Let's not do a balanced diet of all food groups. Let's follow fad diets. That's what this doctor is recommending. Let's follow fad diets. Let's not make sense. No, why would we do that? You need to eat a diet. You need to have a way of eating and a way of living that honors those hormones and moves them all in the right direction. And that diet, that way of eating, is the ketogenic way. And so we find out the truth. The end of the video, the truth comes out. You need to follow a keto diet because it's hormones. Do you believe that or do you want to believe me? Who do you think knows more, the circle or the doctor? He's a doctor. I'm not a doctor. People say you're a doc. I'm actually a circle. But who do you believe, the doctor or the circle? Every time I make a new video, you'll then get a notification. All right, guys, this is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time. And no, Dr. Barry, you're not going to see me again because none of your stuff makes any sense. You're just trying to confuse people by talking over their head, blaming it on hormones when you know the laws of thermodynamics apply. You know you do. You're a freaking doctor. You can't be that stupid. There's no way possible you don't believe that. I think that you're just lying to get more people to subscribe to your channel. You said click the subscribe button and the bell button. No. You don't actually believe what you're saying. I don't believe you to be that stupid. My subs aren't that stupid. I know that. They might be that stupid before they subscribe to my channel, but once they've seen enough of my videos, they're no longer morons or idiots. They actually increase their intelligence, lose weight, and build muscle.
gregdusset.com for coaching, Greg Doucette, IFBB Pro. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on Strava, and bloop it up those two videos so that you can learn more than freaking last time, more than learning from this guy. And until next time, I am out. I thought it was funny, he said Zito. <laughs>